Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Chalmers versus Virgo fight. If you're new around here though and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like video if you do need like video, and let's get straight into it. So, of course, with all the YouTuber cards or influencer boxing cards, um, I always do the the whole card, not just the main event, like I do in other, well the other ones. My predictions, just because I feel like there isn't enough to talk about just about the main event and the whole card is just full of 50 50 fights so that's what makes it good and obviously i don't know everybody from these so i'm not going to be able to give the best of analysis from everybody and from every one of these fights but either way we're going to go through the whole card starting off with the first fight being jade versus weekender um we we had natasha on the channel yesterday um and she seemed very much excited for the fight and very much up for the fight and uh, she's been training for some sort of mixed martial arts slash boxing thing um for a little while now so and i think jade's coming in on pretty short notice as well so i'm gonna go with uh tash weekend the victory uh wishing her the best of luck and of course we've got the press conference i believe today sometime as well so um i'll be sure to watch the whole of that as well but moving on to arif versus jay um Polly arif i believe fought in the past and i think he lost um I think he fought Dina Gray and lost, but now he's coming back. He didn't look that bad in that fight. I think he has got good speed about him, not loads of power, but he's doesn't he doesn't look bad as a fighter. And I want to go with him to win. I don't really know too much about Jay. Um, moving on to Bunker versus Belzy. Bunker, I believe, hasn't got a win in the influencer space yet. And to be fair, she's been fighting the best kind of women's fighter, women's influencer fighters. And Belzy is a another tough fight for her here. Belzy looked good last time out against Kimchi. She looked aggressive. She looked solid. She looked like she had a bit about her. And I'm going to go with a Belzy win again. I think she could be one of the people that is going under the radar a bit in the women's influencer boxing scene in the moment. And I think she could go on to big things as well. And yeah, I think she'll be able to get a convincing victory here. And from the seams of it, it seems like everybody has to beat AJ Bunker to be able to get to the top. And I'm sure it will probably end up happening again, in my opinion. No, no discredit to Bunker, but you know, I'm sure it probably will end up happening again. Moving on to Izzard versus Rose. Uh, I don't really know too much about either of these guys. I think Rose fought in one of the prior cards. I believe he lost. I might be wrong. Um, and oh no, I think he won actually. I'm gonna go for him to win again, uh, just because I don't really know too much about Izzard. And like I said, I feel like I've seen Rose fight before, and it's nice to see more fighters getting built up with misfits and not necessarily being crazily known maybe it's just me that don't know them, but either way they're getting built up as well and getting even more eyes on them which is always something nice to see moving on to Uguay versus mystery opponent can't really give a prediction for it because it was a mystery opponent It'd be interesting to see what Uguay is like um because i mean i don't know what division he's coming into it might be heavyweight division if it is and that'll be good because i feel like the heavyweight division of misfits needs some new names in it and he could be somebody good we'll have to see who the mystery opponent is as well and yeah so like i said i can't really give a prediction but interesting to see how it goes moving on to silver versus davis this could be a, a good fight this one could be fighting the night uh, i know davis does his own kind of and knows a lot about mma i believe it does commentary and stuff like that and he knows his works around mma and what's that like what it, that is like and of course we got silver anderson silver's son i believe it is and it's going to be interesting to see if he can deal with all the amounts of pressure that comes with being the son of a great legend and coming into this for the first time i believe it might be his first time fighting professionally well i know it's his first time fighting in misfits so you know it'll be interesting to see what happens neither of these fighters have got a, a huge name to them, I believe, but this could be fighting a night. And I'm going to go with a silver victory. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if not, though, because of course there is a lot of added pressure and there's a lot that comes with having that name. And if you can't live up to it, then you can't really live up to it. And so this is going to be the first major test for him as well. It'll be interesting to see how he deals with deals with it. Moving on to Raksu versus Halal Ham. Last time out, Halal Ham fought Ginty and he won. And oh did he win it might have been a draw actually i can't remember it wasn't the best of fights it was quite a, a slow 
they both looked quite tentative, not really wanting to throw too much, and it wasn't the best of fights. Um, Raksu, last time out, beat King Kenny. Uh, that was impressive. That caught everybody off guard, and like I said, nobody really expected it. He came in, didn't really like King Kenny, just looked a bit, like I said, tentative as well, and didn't really want to throw too much, but Raksu didn't really care about that. He came in to win, came in to put on a good fight, came in to put on a show in, and really pushed the tempo, and so that could make this fight a good fight as well, because I'm sure... Halaham's going to be wanting to push the tempo because he didn't really get a chance last time. He normally does. I feel like maybe it was just against Ginty. He struggled a bit with finding the range. And I think Rex is going to win this one. I think Rex is the naturally bigger guy as well. And so I feel like if he can keep range, then it shows that, uh, well, it's been showing that Halaham struggles with that. But I think it also could end up being a war as well, in my opinion. Moving on now to Temper versus Ginty. I don't know how good of a fight this will be. It's so strange in my head that some TikTok guy who's from England who doesn't, well, he just kind of built his name up from doing skits and stuff like that. He's now facing a phase member um, who probably doesn't really know who he is, to be completely honest. But it's quite funny how this whole thing works. But as a fight, their temper can be good, he can be technical, but he's been shown that he also can be hurt and he's been knocked out twice now and quite brutally knocked out twice and he shows that he's got good technical boxing ability it's just he can't take a punch especially well maybe that's the case but Ginty I don't know how powerful he is I mean of course he knocked down JMX but that was kind of an off guard kind of flush knockdown but either way I'm going to go with a temper victory I think if this is going to be an actual technical boxing fight then temper will be able to outbox him because Ginty can't really be tentative like he was last time and get away with it. And so, yeah, I'm going to go with a temper victory. Moving on now to the main event Virgo versus Chalmers. I think this will be a good fight. Uh, Chalmers last time out coming off a loss against Crosby, and Virgo coming off a win against Taylor. Um, Virgo fought the fight he had to, he kept it at range, did very well against somebody like Taylor, who can be tricky at times. He knows how to what he has to do to be able to get a victory Taylor and knows he doesn't always have to make it look entertaining he can kind of slug his way to a victory as well and Virgo did well he stuck behind his jab he's got very good fundamentals I think he is arguably one of the best crossover boxers obviously he is and has got a lot of professional experience as well um, but now he's moved over to this scene and now he's fighting these type of people I don't know who he'd really go on to fight next if he did win but you know I mean Chalmers in himself he's tough very game uh, will come for a fight especially and like I said it won't go down without a fight I don't think Virgo hits especially hard um, or really lines up his shots especially well enough to be able to really land clean especially often um, so I think Virgo will win via unanimous decision uh, I think it could be a good fight but we'll have to wait and see I'm sure Chalmers will make it into a good fight um, but yeah like, like I said I'll be interested to see where Virgo could go, go on to next I mean I wouldn't hate if he goes back into the actual proper boxing game but it seems like he's enjoying the paydays and stuff like this fighting this at the moment so maybe we could get another big fight for him i'm sure they would find somebody um but yeah that is it for today's video hope you did enjoy like if you did need like this subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching